Good Tuesday morning. I'm Father Steve from St. Bridges Hermitage, and this is Moments with the Master. Today is the 17th day of January 2023, and our readings today come from the book of Hebrew, chapter 6, verses 10 through 20, Psalms 111, verses 1 through 10, and also the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 2, verses 23 to 28. Well, folks, as often, my reflections come from my ministry during the year, and I guess it's it's normal. About this time of year, as a priest, I hear a lot of people talking about searching for God's direction in their life, starting off the, the new year in a positive direction. Uh, they wonder often, what does God want me to do in my life? You know, how can I be more faithful to God in my, in my daily decisions? And uh, how can I be the best version of myself? You know, they're, they're normal questions as part of our Christian journey. We, sh- we should have them uh, multiple times during the year. You know, New Year's is a great time to start. The question comes down to, what does God want me to do in my life? And if answering that question, we'll find out who God wants us to be. It's a huge question. And there's many ways you can get at it. Um, you know, I'm going to try and touch on a few things today. As often I tell everyone, start with, with self-reflection, meditations. Reflections on, on where you're going, where you want to be, who you want to be. You know, reflections have to be honest. I'll tell you right now, if you're not honest with yourself, you're, you're just spinning your wheels. You're never going to come up with, with any kind of answers. And a, a word of warning, you know, people often get sentimental. They get emotional. They let their feelings drive their, their, their thoughts. And it, and it could be a distraction. I'm, I'm not saying that it's necessarily bad, but I'm saying that, you know, we tell ourselves, oh, I don't know, this doesn't feel right about this, or it does feel right. Uh, I, this feels like the right, the right path. You know, often that's just too superficial. Uh, I think the path will open up if we think about what's God's will. What's the greatest, what, what am I going to do that gives the greatest capacity to do what God wants me to do? I think, I think that's where the direction we should start off with. You know, be a little more specific. Don't take it off in one giant chunk. Uh, yeah, how you, I think how you should discern things is moment to moment. Uh, that's how you're going to find the, the path that God wants you to be on your journey. You know, we can think of St. Teresa, the little flower, in her little way. That's a that's a, a if you haven't read her, that that's she's brilliant. It's it's something that everybody should read. The little way. It's a simple approach to a spiritual life that seeks to do ordinary things with extraordinary love. It demands love at any given moment, at the present moment. You know, don't fa- don't focus on the grand question, but this day to day. How is this choice I'm making today a choice of love? Not love for myself, but love for whoever I'm dealing with. You know, we open ourselves to open to love at every moment. You know, I either can do my will or I, what's best for me, or I can do what's best for somebody else. And what are you going to do? And I think by doing this, step by step, moment by moment, as we change who we are, the doors open and you find yourself to where God wants you to be. And, and, and it's, when you end up there, you find yourself the better version than you started with. And isn't, that's, that's really where we want to be, the best version of ourselves, because that's where God is going to use us the best. Uh, okay, so you know me. You give one more. If you all have been watching 30 seconds, you know I got a list. 
So first, how are we going to find God's will for ourselves? How are we going to make ourselves the best version of ourselves? Uh, you know, God wants you to, to, to seek him. You know, we, we have to follow God. We, we just have to have the relationship. That's the, the beginning and end, folks. We have to cultivate a relationship, uh, spending time in his word, making time for prayers. Uh, we have to know God we, intimately because God wants to know us intimately. That's, that's the relationship. We're not so much reaching up to God as, as allowing God to reach down to us. Okay, second, and, and I think this is a key component in finding God's will, um, finding godly advisors in your life. You know, if you don't have three or four godly people in your life that you can talk to, you know, maybe mentors, uh, I think that you should find them. You know, they're not, they're, they're not hard to find. Uh, you need that soul friend to, that bounce ideas off, that, that's going to give you, again, the best version of yourself. Proverbs 11.14 says, Where there is no guidance, people will fall. But in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. In other words, one of the main ways God is going to help you find your purpose is through others. Okay, third, and I like this, it's, a lot of people don't touch on it, but it's, it's a favorite of mine. We want to look at patterns, patterns in the scriptures, patterns in the lives of the saints. Reading about how people in the Bible and how our saints, you know, found their path, their path. Is there somebody in the Bible, is there a particular saint that you can identify with? Somebody who walks a path like yours. Somebody who maybe went under a, underwent a conversion like yours. That has those same obstacles. Maybe the same vocation, your same, the same way you make your life. Somebody you can relate to that's not just a, a, a porcelain image. A real flesh and bone person, you know, whether that's Moses or David, whether that's Saint Augustine, or Saint Ignatius, there are patterns in everybody's life. You know, these figures, these figures, are people we can relate to, and maybe they can help you, help you understand where you're going, what you're what you're going through, how God touches other people, because He's going to use the same way to touch you. Okay, number four. Another one people don't touch on is how's God wired you? Because we're all wired different. We all have different skills. We have different uh, charisms. Uh, you know, we're all built to build the kingdom of God. Just like building a house. You know, we got electricians, we got plumbers, we got carpenters, we got bricklayers, we got masons, we got everybody out there to build a house. You know, and when the house is all done, we have, we have folks that, you know, clean the house, they make them, they make it really nice and tidy, and they make them beautiful, they paint. Everybody has a purpose. God has a purpose for every person. Every person. St. Peter's gives us this, this admonishment in 1 Peter 4.10. As each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the, of the manifold grace of God. God has given everybody special charism, special mission, special talents. Some of us sing, some of us teach, some of us preach. Everybody has a place. You know, he's, what has he gifted you in? What has he gifted you to build the kingdom of God. You know, his plan is always includes you. Now, a side note on this. Think about this, you know. Not all of us can be John Paul II or, or Billy Graham. They don't have that, that charism to give out, you know, preaching. Not all of us can be, you know, Dr. Scott Hahn 
you know, the gifted theologian. Not all of us can be uh, Father Mike Schmidt or Father John Carapi. Great speakers. You know, I, I, I really, I really wish I was one of them. I, I wish I could give you that kind of uh, motivational speech. But God has given us all, all gifts, and we're all different. You know, don't let it, don't let it bring you down. And lastly, prayer. You know, okay, I'm ending with the obvious. So if you want to know what God wants for you, ask God to give you the wisdom and direction. James 5.1 states, If any one of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. That's the incredible good news, folks. God wants to give you a purpose. He wants to give you divine wisdom. He wants to give you direction. It's, it's not like God's going to hold anything back. He's not. He wants you to have the desires of your heart. He wants you to have a purple, purposeful life. He wants you to be the best version of yourself. He wants you to be part of that building crew to build the kingdom of God. So that's my that's my reflection on on this today. I hope it was helpful. And as always, may the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord hold you in the palm of his hand. Till we meet again.